the children, they inspire me, yes, because inclusion is not something that is achieved by knowing more and more, more head knowledge. It is something to do with the heart. Um, for instance, the very same girl that um, usually gets overly emotional because people touch, touch the things, right? It's the same girl that stood up to me and tell me that um, her friend who has autism needs more time. Sometimes Rain always push me and, and, and cry. Uh-huh. Like that. Push. Ah, but, but it's okay. Why? Because she's still learning. And I still love Warren. So I, I see that my student, she can't explain what autism is better than I do. But she's able to relate to her better than I do. I need a new paper. Okay, I'll get one paper for you. Yeah, that's Okay, you don't She's able to understand, um, you know, in that, that moment. Sometimes, as teachers, we might overlook. And I believe that, um, that that opens up so much possibilities that sometimes um, it's not about head knowledge, uh, but it's about the heart. Yeah, colourful. Colourful I think inclusion is important nationwide because um, the improvement is remarkable for children with added needs and without needs also. Okay, change partner A. Yeah, come on boys. So even in our school, which is actually quite small, we can see such a remarkable improvement. I think it will be even more significant if a lot more of us are doing it. So from preschool level, when you build it up, right, um, they just, it just becomes a norm, a way of life. It's a lot harder when you want to tell an adult to change their mindset. But children, from a very young age, if you really mould them to think positively about others or to include others in their environment, it, it just becomes a very natural way of doing things. It's not forced upon them, which is very important. Of course, I worry about what will happen when he leaves kindergarten. But then, if we give them the right skills, even if they were to graduate, they will know how to survive out there. This is what we want. We want to empower them. And on the other side, with their, the skills that they have learned, we believe that they are able to relate better in the society. Yes, and that's helped them to be more independent too. I think this environment provides our children with the, with the breath of um, repertoire of the humankind and that, that allows them to be more productive and progressive in the future. Now, what we offer is the opportunity to be part of a, a society that is, in a sense, real, not um, covered up, not sheltered, you know, real conversations, real people who will respond to you, and um, based on, on what on how you how you treat them, and sometimes those responses are not going to be pretty. It's important for these children to experience those things at this age to build up their resilience. Um, like what I say, it's not how many times you fall down, but it's how fast you get up. I heard from somewhere, uh, someone said that the cost of caring is expensive, but the cost of not caring is unaffordable. So I believe that um, what we are doing now sets the stage for society in the future.